Archangel Inc. Self-Publishing Report, written by Rob Archangel, owner and co-founder of Archangel Inc. www.archangelinc.com, narrated by the author. Audiobook production by Archangel Inc. Introductory Note Dear readers, thanks for picking up this short book. It is designed to help orient self-publishing authors to the industry, to provide free and low-cost resources for the aspiring self-publisher to get started, and to give insight into what our company, Archangel Inc., can do to help current and future authors. The content is adapted from the free series available at archangelinc.com. Please feel free to sign up and access this report there if you prefer. Each chapter is delivered via email once daily, and the introductory email also includes links to EPUB, MOBI, and PDF formats available for immediate download. Thanks again for reading, and we wish you all the best in your self-publishing journey. Rob Archangel, archangelinc.com Part 1. You just got this much closer to having your own book published. Quote, Times are bad. Children no longer obey their parents, and everyone is writing a book. Unquote. Marcus Tullius Cicero. Rob Archangel here. I'm glad you're reading this, right here, right now. Why? Because everyone wants to be an author. In fact, some polls show 9 out of 10 Americans want to write a book. But you're different. Not only are you thinking about publishing your book, you're doing something most people will never do. You're taking action and getting the information you need to move forward with your dream of authorship. That's pretty cool. At Archangel Inc., we've helped scores of authors experience what most people only dream about, writing and publishing their own book. We'd like to help you do the same, if we're a good fit to work together. That's why we've created this mini-course on publishing, kind of like painting a trail through the maze so you can envision the path from here to there. Here is where you are now. You've gained some knowledge and wisdom to share with the world. Maybe you've become an expert in your field and want to write a book so you'll literally be the one who, quote, wrote the book, unquote, on your topic. Maybe you've caught a vision for the residual income possibilities authors enjoy. Maybe you've got a message that's practically burning inside of you, demanding to come out and reach people you can inspire to change the world, or a small corner of it. There is where you want to go. It's the moment you're holding your own book in your hands, and your book is out there doing what you dreamed it would do. Of course, from here to there is the maze. Writing and publishing a book can be pretty complicated, and if you go the route of traditional publishing, it can be a road that's paved with rejection, heartache, and headaches. So, by getting this little course we've produced, you've made at least two really smart moves. One, you're taking action. Two, you're gaining a higher level understanding of what goes into publishing your own book. Here's what we'll cover in the next few messages. A couple of different ways you can go about getting your book written without going crazy in the process what happens after the writing phase is complete. Writing your book is only a small part of the publishing process. There's a lot more that has to happen. How to determine whether writing and publishing your book with Archangel Inc. makes financial sense for you, or whether you'd be better off taking an alternate route to authorship. We'll show you that path too. The part of publishing that most authors miss, marketing. There's no point in publishing your book if nobody's going to read it what it's like partnering with Archangel Inc. to move your book from the idea to bookshelf. Or maybe you've got a manuscript in hand already. That'll work too. Once you've read through these next few messages, you'll have a pretty clear understanding of what lies ahead for you. And if you decide to move forward with your book project, you'll get a feel for whether we are a good fit for you. That's important. You'll also understand a lot more about the process of writing and publishing a successful book and you'll probably be even more excited about this possibility after you hear our take on what's possible for today's authors. Also, if you decide that you'd like to work with Archangel Inc., you'll be about three steps ahead of most authors, because you'll have a deeper understanding about the process. Knowing where you're going is always better than fumbling in the dark, right? Until next time, Rob. P.S. As you read through this brief six-part report, you may have some questions about your particular project. 
just keep a list going. Most likely, we'll cover them in this mini course. But if not, or if you decide you're ready to take the next step, we'll schedule a complimentary Skype call together. Sound good? Part 2. So, can you really write a book? Quote, there is nothing to writing. All you do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed. Unquote. Ernest Hemingway. Rob Archangel here. Thanks, Ernest. That's great. Very encouraging. Do you have your book written yet? If you do, fantastic. You survived. You poured the information and inspiration that was in your brain out onto a screen, and you're ready for the next step toward publishing. If not, even better. You can avoid what so many people consider to be a pretty painful process. More on that in a moment. First, let's have a little chat about using your time wisely. See, normally, you're busy doing your thing, whatever that thing is. You're coaching, selling, building businesses, teaching people. Basically, doing the thing you're uniquely gifted to do. Great. That's also why you're looking for information on publishing with Archangel Inc. Whether you've got a manuscript in hand or just a rough idea for your book, you know that writing is just a small part of getting your book into print. You know it's about to get even more time consuming. There's learning how to do all the steps involved, and then actually doing them. Unless your primary occupation is author, messing around with your book is probably not the most profitable or enjoyable way you could use your time. You do what you do, and we do this. Whether we help you write your book, or you hand off your manuscript and we run with it to get it finished, one of the smartest moves you can make is partnering with an expert who's done it before. So, let's say you have an idea for a book, but you don't have time to write it. Ha! You don't have time for anything extra. You hate writing. It gives you flashbacks of that mean teacher you had in middle school. You've had this idea for way longer than you'd like to admit, and even with the best of intentions, the book is just not happening. You're tired of just sitting there staring at a blank screen. See, we've worked with many clients who've been right where you are. If the idea of writing your book seems overwhelming, we can help. Can we share a little secret from the world of publishing? Many authors don't write their own book. It's more common to partner with a ghostwriter than you'd imagine. It actually makes sense. Here's why. You've got an idea. You're probably an expert in your field. That's one great reason to publish a book, by the way, to reinforce your credibility and expert status. You could probably talk about your topic for hours without breaking a sweat. It's so much a part of you that talking about it just flows effortlessly. A good ghostwriter can help extract that expertise from you and get it into written form. Don't worry, it doesn't even hurt. What comes naturally to you is your message. What comes naturally to a ghostwriter is communicating that message in your voice. Back in the old days, using a ghostwriter was kind of a hush-hush deal. There was this sense that if you didn't physically put the words to the paper, you didn't write the book. It's not like that anymore. Now it's all about collaboration. You do what you do really well. What ghostwriters do really well is tell your story. And really good ones can do it so well that even your best friend won't guess that you didn't actually sit down and write your book. With Archangel Inc., there are a couple of ways we can help get your book written. 1. You give us an outline and we'll turn a ghostwriter loose on your topic. You tell the ghostwriter the key points you want him or her to emphasize, things to avoid, and perhaps a few resources to draw from, and the ghostwriter gets to work. Back and forth is minimal, and in exchange, you get a great manuscript with relatively low cost. The writer will research, write, and deliver your completed manuscript. Voila! The writing part is done. Typically, this option runs about $1,000 to $3,000 for a book that's about 12 to 18,000 words. 2. We can match you up with one of our custom ghostwriters. You'll provide an outline for your book, then go through a series of recorded interviews so you can just talk your way through the book's content. The writer will capture your thoughts, your expertise, your way of speaking, and put it all into writing. This is a much more collaborative process and generally takes longer, but the end result is fully vetted by and customized for the client. This custom option, of course, costs more, and is best for thought leaders who have unique and specialized information and perspectives to share. You're looking at anywhere from $2,500 to $25,000, 
depending on the particulars of your project and the experience of the writer you choose. There's a third option too. Some of our clients really want to write their own book, but they could use some help in the form of an accountability partner, someone to hold your feet to the fire and keep you moving forward. This involves regular phone or Skype sessions to discuss your progress and troubleshoot issues as they come up. If you're in the midst of the writing process and you know you need some outside help to get over the hump, we may be able to help. Reach out to us and we can discuss options for this sort of coaching. In the end, writing your book can be pretty easy, even if you never pick up a pen or keyboard yourself. Give these options some thought if you don't already have your book written. Or think about how much easier this route would be for the next one you publish. Next up, we'll talk about what happens after the book is written, because there's a lot more to do. Until next time, Rob. Part 3. Here's your sneak peek into the black box of publishing. Quote, Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. Unquote. Albert Einstein. Rob Archangel here. There's a funny saying that goes something like this. The first 90% of publishing is writing your book. The second 90% is what comes after. The math might be terrible, but the sentiment is right on target. Publishing is a lot like a black box filled with mystery and tedium. Nice box, right? The publishing world has language all its own, debates that rage among experts, and more options than you might ever have considered. The traditional publishing route is to find an agent who pitches your book to publishers, possibly gets a deal for you, and then you go on your merry way pouring your words out for their profit, maybe. We're a self-publishing business, so no surprise, we're not huge fans of that route to authorship. There is an easier way, and you're finding out about it now. We'll talk more about the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing next time, but for the moment, let's dig into some options you have today that didn't exist before the internet. You can publish a few ways, and these options are pretty meaningful because you can reach more people now than ever before, and earn money from your book at the same time. Here are the three primary ways you can publish. You can do one, some, or all. Print your book. We use and recommend CreateSpace, which is owned by Amazon.com. It's a print-on-demand company, which means you never have to have a garage full of books. You can buy one copy, a million copies, whatever you want. Your book will be available on Amazon for people to buy, and they mail it out, not you. You'll earn the difference between the printing costs and the price you set for your book. Publish digitally on Kindle. Again, Kindle is owned by Amazon. Your readers can read on a Kindle, an iPad, tablet, or another device like a laptop or desktop. You'll make either 35% or 70% of your book's list price depending on a few factors. Publish as an audiobook. Guess who owns Audible.com, the world's biggest marketplace for audiobooks? Yes, Amazon. With professional narration and production, you can reach the crowd of people who'd prefer to listen than read. Actually, if you want to do it yourself, you can do that too. Here's a short ebook we put together offering a peek behind the veil of how and why we got started and the process we used. Download at archangelinc.com audible for free or learn more in our colleague Derek Depker's Audiobooks Made Easy course. archangelinc.com slash Derek. Exciting, right? Before you get too excited, though, we've got to talk about editing. If you've written your own book, you're going to need a fresh pair of eyes, or a few pairs, to look it over and catch mistakes you can't see anymore because you're too close to the project. There are five different tiers of editing we offer. Outlined at archangelinc.com slash editing, here's a short overview. Developmental editing. This is high-level editing for the author who perhaps writes in brain-dump fashion, putting all their thoughts down first and worrying about making it orderly and sequential later. The goal here is to make sure the material is laid out in a way that avoids repetition, has a consistent tone, doesn't leave anything vital out, and avoids repetition. Line editing. This is about the craft of writing. Is the language smooth and elegant? Can we rephrase a confusing sentence for increased clarity? Would a different word choice enhance the reader experience? Line editing involves multiple passes with review of each by the author. The goal is to present the author's thoughts in the most compelling and authentic way. Line Edit Plus. 
a combination of line editing and copy editing. Details to follow. Copy editing. This editing focuses on the details. Typos, grammar, consistency, and basic comprehensibility. Sentences that are inelegant but technically correct would be left intact. Proofreading. Proofreading overlaps with copy editing in that it focuses on irrefutable errors of grammar and spelling, while leaving anything else alone. Proofreading is typically done on the final formatted draft just before publishing. The proofreader will also look out for formatting structure and consistency, numbered lists, bullet points, header and subheader styling, etc., to ensure nothing was missed. Just a few more nuts and bolts in the black box for today. Once your book has been edited, it needs to be formatted. You can't just upload an unformatted Word document and publish it as a book. There are a few types of formatting. Here's the breakdown. Ebook formatting. One of the advantages of ebook formatting is how simple it is. These days, we primarily use Adobe InDesign for our clients, but not everyone has access to that application. For the do-it-yourselfer, you can use Microsoft Word and upload the file directly to Amazon, Lulu, or elsewhere. Send it through their in-house conversion process, and it will come out the other side as a file suitable for an e-reader device, such as a Kindle, a Barnes & Noble Nook, etc. But there are lots of details to formatting, and you need to know the basic rules involved to produce something that will look sharp and professional and won't have any distracting errors. We've produced a skeleton file that you can download and write your manuscript in. This will do the basic formatting for you right out of the gate. You can find that at archangelinc.com skeleton. You can also go to a great free resource, the Smashwords Style Guide, at archangelinc.com smashwords. It's long, and you'll want to take your time going through it, but it offers a great step-by-step -step guide to the practice and principles behind ebook formatting. We also demonstrate on video what this type of formatting looks like in our DIY self-publishing course, archangelinc.com slash DIY. Paperback formatting. Print layout can be as simple or as complicated as you'd like to make it. Like ebook formatting, our team primarily uses Adobe InDesign these days, but we produced dozens and dozens of books using Microsoft Word when we got started. One key thing to remember is that paperback formatting is fixed meaning that the way it looks on screen is what it will look like on the page. In contrast, ebook formatting is reflowable, meaning that the text will flow differently depending on the settings of the reader. Reader 1 might have Times New Roman, 10-point font with small margins and single spaces. Reader 2 might have Arial, 36-point font in purple with huge margins, double spaces, and only 40 words per page. The unique formatting parameters of ebooks should allow for that customization. If you'd like to create your own paperback edition, CreateSpace does have interior templates, archangelinc.com slash csinterior, and cover templates, archangelinc.com slash cscover, that you can utilize to format your manuscript in a way that will look strong and professional. If you have special needs, you'll need to know more about the formatting parameters to tweak things so that they work for both your goals and CreateSpace. CreateSpace only does paperback publishing. It's far more economical than hardcover book publishing and is generally what we recommend. Is your mind buzzing a bit? The possibilities are pretty exciting. Just think about how many people you can reach, how many readers might find your work, and the possibilities once your book gets out there. Next chapter, we'll take a look at the whole publisher versus self-publishing debate and what you need to think about money-wise as you move forward with your project. Until then, Rob. P.S. Yes, the process of getting your book ready for publication is complex, tedious, and far less sexy than you might imagine. But it's all got to be done. And honestly, we've done it so many times for really cool authors that we actually like it. Sick, huh? Part 4. What's the bottom line when it comes to publishing your book? Quote, Nothing stinks like a pile of unpublished writing. Unquote. Sylvia Plath. Rob Archangel here. Hopefully, your head's not spinning from all the editing, formatting, and publishing options we talked about last time. Once self-publishing opened up as an option, and aspiring authors were no longer at the mercy of the big publishing houses, 
there was instantly a lot more to understand and handle if you're doing it on your own. The mainstream publishers kind of poo-poo the self-publishing world, but the explosion of new books is proof that people want to get their message out there and will do what it takes to make it happen. Here's a quick-ish explanation of the state of publishing today. Traditional publishing is tough for almost everyone. The likelihood that any author out there will be picked up by a publishing house is rather slim, and even if you land a publishing deal, it may not be as lucrative as you'd hoped. Years ago, I tried to get one of my co-founder Matt's projects picked up by a traditional publishing house, and learned a bit about the process. You have to find an agent, write a book proposal or query letter, mail printouts of your manuscript or excerpts of it to the publishing house, typically via snail mail, and hope that the right person with the right frame of mind, who's not hangry because they forgot breakfast that morning, gets to it and gives it the green light to the next step. Even if you get past the gatekeepers, traditional publishers still expect you to bring your own platform, or followership, and do the legwork in marketing it and selling copies. They simply don't have bottomless pockets to shower every book in their stable with the love and attention it may need to find legs. If they offer you an advance and your book underperforms, you're on the hook for the advance payment they didn't recoup. For all this shared risk you assume as the author, large New York publishers typically offer an anemic 5-15% to royalty on each copy of your book. Self-publishing offers more promising options. You're going to be responsible for the legwork of selling your book anyway. Maybe it makes sense to cut out the publishing house altogether and earn 35-80% to plus of the sales price on each copy sold. For a paperback retailing at $19.99, for example, you might only earn a couple of bucks with a big publisher versus $10 or $15 per self-published copy. That means you could sell 5 to 10 times as many copies through a publishing house as on your own and still bring in a smaller paycheck. The difference in sales for self-published versus traditionally published may not be dramatic enough to justify the lost percentage. Self-publishing has a much lower barrier to entry. You can price your book lower than the big guys, making you more attractive to new readers, yet still earn more per unit sold. Alternately, you can keep the price point comparable and earn substantially more per unit sold. Self-publishing is a no-brainer then, right? Yes and no. The biggest advantage of traditional publishers is the ease they offer. You might be the best writer in the world, but that doesn't always translate to self-publishing success. You need to become competent at manuscript editing and proofreading, cover design, ebook formatting, paperback layout and design, audiobook narration, editing and mastering, and uploading your material to your chosen distribution channels. And that's not to mention sales copywriting, keyword and category selection, launch strategy, promotion, and ongoing marketing efforts. You absolutely can do it yourself, but you may need to get some help and guidance along the way. That's where we come in. More on that later. So, can you really make money writing and publishing books? Many authors, reasonably, only think about royalty payments when it comes to evaluating the earning side of writing and publishing. You sell books, you earn income from those sales. But that's not the only reason people write and self-publish. Sure, there are intangible benefits like the pleasure of telling a story, the joy of knowing your fans are hanging on your every word, or the fact that you're leaving behind a legacy, in print. There's another strategic reason many of our authors write and self-publish their books. Your book can serve as a powerful lead generation tool. What better way to build your professional credibility and acclaim than to publish a book, or a few? Let's say your ideal customer goes online looking for a solution you provide, or they go online and do due diligence before hiring you. They may find your book, buy it, and next thing you know, they hire you. Or, let's say you've got a hot prospect. You send a copy of your book. Hint, you can even send one direct from Amazon and bypass the gatekeeper, virtually guaranteeing your prospect opens your package. Your prospect is impressed, understands that you're legit, and next thing you know, they hire you. Under either of these scenarios, you don't care at all about royalties. You make your investment back through an increase in your business. Brilliant, right? What does it cost to publish with Archangel Inc? Honestly, we can't name a number. There are so many variables here, and the best way to get pricing for your particular project is to have a conversation with us. We'll tell you how to arrange that conversation at the end of the book. 
Until then, make your list of questions. Pull together an idea of what you want to accomplish with your book, too. Are you aiming for a bestseller that will pay royalties? Or are you interested in a book that leads your readers to take further action, like hiring you? Having a plan for the money end is the best way to ensure it makes financial sense for you to publish with us. Next time, we're out. P.S. Don't forget, you can do a lot of this on your own. Here's our link to some resources that will help you self-publish if you've got more time and energy to put toward your project than financial resources. archangelinc.com slash resources. Part 5. Don't ignore this phase in publishing your book, a mistake most authors make. Quote, don't judge a book by its cover, unquote. Folk wisdom and baloney. Rob Archangel here. If a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? Or if an author publishes a book and fails to market it successfully, does it accomplish anything? It would be fantastic if great books naturally created their own following, attracted the attention of ideal readers, and made a mint for their authors, all on their own. But yeah, that is a fantasy. Trust me, if you hit publish and nobody notices, it's a major disappointment. Ask me how I know this. When you self-publish, you're also responsible for promoting your book. The funny thing is, even if you go with a traditional publishing house, you do the lion's share of promotion. But that doesn't mean you've got to go it alone or feel your way in the dark. Yes, they will judge. The first and very best ad that you can make for your book is the one most authors screw up worst. The cover. You can't slap words in any old image on a cover and call it good. You certainly can't buy a cover on Fiverr and bank on it to do your book sales any favors. There's no avoiding it, no shortcut, and no substitute. Your cover must sell your book. That means it's got to fit your genre, feature high-quality imagery or typeface and layout, and have a design that practically forces prospective readers to click on it. Archangel Inc. has some of the most compelling book cover designs out there. And if we work together, you'll be astonished at what we can create together. You'll want to check out our FAQ page, archangelinc.com FAQ, and in particular, the section on why we're such sticklers for excellent cover design. However, if you're leaning toward more of a DIY publishing experience, we don't want to leave you hanging and helpless. You can get an overview of the practice and principles of cover design in our DIY course, archangelinc.com DIY. And for a dedicated program by one of the very best in the field, check out Derek Murphy's DIY Book Covers course, archangelinc.com slash Murphy. Beyond the cover. We can't take over the promotion for you. It's kind of a never-ending task, after all. But we can help give you a major leg up as you ride this beast. Actually, a couple of legs up. When it comes to book promotion, we continually survey the landscape to see what's working well then we tweak our strategy and play the game the smart way. There are a couple of ways you can harness the power of our scouting. First, we've got a sister company called Buck Books that works as a powerful promotional vehicle. With Buck Books, your title will get in front of an ever-growing list of over 30,000 subscribers, each eager to get their mitts on the newest high-quality books to be published. You won't make much in royalties as you promote with Buck Books. After all, it's in the name. However, it can be a good investment, as getting tons of verified purchases on Amazon will do wonders for your book sales going forward. Plus, you're likely to garner some sales skyrocketing reviews as well. Second, because the whole of publishing success boils down to acting on a smart strategy, we give you access to marketing strategies we know work well. Every client who buys our full-service publishing package gets complimentary access to an excellent course so you can learn how to choose the right keywords for your book so eager readers can find it on Amazon, what categories you should choose and which to avoid, how to write a killer book description, how to have excellent honest book reviews that will wow Amazon and your potential readers. There are a lot of fatal pitfalls you can avoid by knowing how to get reviews the right way. If you decide to go solo on creating and publishing your book, you want to check out Joey Lott's Author Marketing Mastery course archangelinc.com slash joey. The tactics you'll learn will help you stand out from the crowd and turn what could feel like a crapshoot into a coherent step-by-step -step process you can follow now and for every book you write going forward. In the end, successful publishing is largely dependent on marketing. You could have the most awesome book ever written, 
edited to perfection, formatted like a work of art, but if it falls on deaf ears, you'll end up with nothing but a broken heart, well, and maybe a broken bank account too. The Archangel Inc. team wants to help you set yourself up to achieve your goals. In the next section, we'll talk a bit more about what it's like partnering with us on your book. To your success, Rob. Part 6. Are you ready to take the next step toward publishing your book? Quote, There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. Unquote. Maya Angelou. Rob Archangel here. Now that you've learned so much about self-publishing, it's starting to feel real, isn't it? If you haven't run for the hills screaming, you're probably more serious than ever about writing and publishing your book. Now it's time to look a little more at what's involved in working with Archangel Inc. First, a little unselling. We are not cheap. We're professionals at what we do, and that means we do it right. We know that we're not going to be a good fit for everyone. Our services are labor-intensive and high-value, and our practices are based on years of experience. We know what works well and what doesn't. Clients who work with us do so because they trust us and want to hand us the reins to make the best decisions for them that we can. For authors who want a more self-directed experience with a lot more control over the many details involved, we do offer a couple of options at a lower price point. The first is our DIY self-publishing course, archangelinc.com DIY. It's more than five hours of audio and video training providing a guided overview of the steps involved in putting a book together. It covers identifying your goals and setting realistic expectations, self-editing and proofreading your manuscript, formatting for ebook and paperback distribution, narrating and mastering your own audiobook, navigating distribution options, marketing strategy, and more. If you're trying to figure out if it's worthwhile to hire us or go at it yourself, this DIY course is a great first step. After you take it, you'll have a sense of whether or not the process is for you. If you're long on time and shorter on funds, as many authors starting out can be, this can be a great option for you. We do field questions in the comments section of the course and do our best to guide you in making the best decisions you can. The second option for authors looking for a more self-directed experience is a Skype consultation with us. We're happy to connect, listen, and provide some feedback to direct you along your way. This allows us to assist authors even if they don't work with us. Skype is an efficient way to help and allows us to avoid time-consuming email chains that pull us from our clients. We offer one free call, 30 minutes on Skype. If you still need more guidance and the other resources we've directed you toward are not quite enough, we are happy to set up subsequent Skype calls and answer more questions for you. Our current rate is $200 per hour, available in $50, 15-minute blocks. Sometimes it's just easier to spend a few minutes on the phone and have immediate feedback from an experienced professional. Other times, it's nice to have an accountability partner, someone to check in with on a rolling basis as you make your way through the self-publishing process. Whatever your needs are, we're here to help, and these consultations allow you to obtain precisely the level of help that you need. Now, if you do think we'd make a good team for publishing your book, here's what to do. Remember that complimentary 30-minute Skype call I mentioned a moment ago? We're happy to connect with you and answer your questions. If you're looking to work with us on a full-service package, this is a good chance to feel us out and get a better sense of how we might help in your specific circumstance. You can ask questions, request a proposal based on the particulars of your project, and find out more about the next steps. All you have to do to schedule your complimentary Skype call is email reply at archangelinc.com. We'll take it from there and find a time that works for everyone's schedule. Thanks for letting me pull back the curtain a bit on the whole writing and publishing process. It's an incredible honor and privilege to work with our authors and help them get their messages out to the world. I hope this information has been helpful. Best to you, Rob. P.S. Before you compile that list of questions to cover during your complimentary Skype call, check out our Frequently Asked Questions page right here at archangelinc.com FAQ. You'll probably find answers there, although you might also end up with more questions. We're looking forward to talking with you. About the author. Rob Archangel here, logophile, communication enthusiast, and self-publisher. Several years ago, I worked as an assistant to the publisher of the longest-running permaculture journal in North America and got my first taste of the publishing world. 
Long passionate about writing and communication, I partnered with Matt Stone in 2012 to expand the reach of his site, 180DegreeHealth.com, and spearheaded his entry into the e-reader, print-on-demand paperback, and audiobook world. Realizing I have a knack and passion for the process, and that all my time spent learning the ropes could be of value to others, he and I founded Archangel Inc. as an umbrella outfit for all one's independent publishing needs. My goal is to help authors and entrepreneurs navigate the self-publishing landscape as painlessly as possible. From cover design and editing to ghostwriting and audiobook production, we let the content creators focus on whatever it is they love to do, while we add efficiency and professionalism to the rest of the process. This has been Archangel Inc. Self-Publishing Report, written by Rob Archangel, owner and co-founder of Archangel Inc., www.archangelinc.com, narrated by the author, audiobook production by Archangel Inc.